Hey yo everyone, welcome. We are here with a Minecraft series. I know it's insane, right? But yeah, this is a mod pack that I saw Uber Hexer Nova play. Uber Hexer Nova, one of the dudes I've been watching for forever, man, for since way back when, like 2011, way back when. And I saw him play this mod pack and it looked really fun and I wanted to play it. You know, I haven't played Minecraft in a while and you know, since we're in the renaissance of Minecraft, I think, I think it just makes sense that I do a series on it. Now, in terms of how this series is gonna work, like editing wise, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how we, how I do it, whether it'll just be, I don't know, long videos or whether it will be short videos showing off a bunch of highlights, maybe a mix of all of that. I don't know, but let's go ahead. Let's make our world. All right, we are now in the world. We're playing as a uh, Kazmir here, my, my favorite skin. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start exploring. This mod pack has a lot of cool mods. And uh, honestly, I, I don't, I really don't know any of the mods from 1.12. Whoa, was this the starting chest and it just broke? That's kind of upsetting. But yeah, I don't know a lot of mods from 1.12 because I usually play modded Minecraft in like the 1.7.10 area because that's when like mods were in their heyday, man. That's when mods were the best they could be. And uh, I don't know if that's just an opinion. No, nah, I'll say that's facts and that's not opinion. But yeah, I haven't played since then in terms of mods. I think I actually did play like some 1.8 mods here and there. Oh, my name is Cheeks Destroyer. I, for I forgot when I changed my name from, you know, official GR101 to Cheeks Destroyer. Uh, am I not supposed to be making a pickaxe? Oh, wait, I forgot that there's quests. Duh, let's look in the quest book. Oh my god, this is a, this is a lot of information already. Theme, you could choose theme, overworld, ew. <laughs> Standard dark, it's not bad, and ew. Standard light, I'm going blind. Nether, nah, vanilla. Vanilla actually doesn't look too bad. Stronghold, I think standard dark, probably the best looking. Quest, the journey, oh my god, look at this. So we have the journey, character and tools, twilight zone, aether conqueror, tropic craft, lost in between lands, some wizardry required, catch them all, extra utilities, interdimensional adventure, all about the crops, the grind don't stop, ward shop. So this is gonna be a big, big mod pack, man. This is, there's a lot of stuff here. Refresh quests, shadow one task complete. Path of the warrior, require, oh, okay, so I gotta make a a portable crafter right that's what i'm doing how do you make a portable crafter how do you even look at like stuff you can make why is there why does it say at rat and there's a bunch of rat items all right this is not too bad of a recipe minus the iron oh god we need a booking quill too bro it, i can't even make stone brush scythe chop areas of weeds and flowers i thought this was a weapon but yeah i'm mining stone because we need to smelt the stone before we use it for a stone pickaxe understandable i guess so we do have this right here this doggy charm which summons in our dog. Let's go towards water because if we need a squid for that book, then obviously the water is going to be the place to go. What is that? Clam. There's a clam. I don't think it's the Minecraft version where you swim around really cool. No, it's not. Okay. What's up, clam? I'm going to kill you. I'm very sorry for that. Not eaten yet. What does it taste like? What am I supposed to like keep track of what some stuff tastes like? I saw some bubbles right here. Do those do anything? Or are they just bubbles? Probably just bubbles. Oh, there's a tower over there. It's almost nighttime too. So maybe it would be a very smart idea to go inside of this tower and hide. But yeah, there's a mod in here that adds in like different variations for the animals. Really cool. I like that mod. Whatever mod does that, very, very cool. Bunch of sheep here. We're going to kill them instead of shearing them. I could shear them. I'm not gonna. We're gonna kill him. I know. I'm sorry, sheep. Look away if you are a member of PETA. And uh, let me go ahead and get rid of you too. Boom. Boom. Get him out of here. You'll be the last one left alive. You, you'll you you'll bring on your family's legacy, all right? Into the house we go. Damn, there's a pig stuck in that tree. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. We almost just witnessed a suicide, bro. That would have been bad. Is there a bed in here? Is there a bed that I can sleep in? You know. Let's try this again. <laughs> Is there a bed I can sleep in? Oh. Hello, sir. If you don't mind, I'm just looking for a bed. You don't seem to have a bed anywhere. Do you have an arcane workbench though? Let's make a bed first before we nab this guy's goodies. That's not how you make a bed. See, bro, the the changes stuff up on me. How how you do this? Oh, oh, what the fuck? I didn't even do anything. Uh oh. Well, I'm. Where am I, dude? I think I'm dead. What the fuck is going on? So this wizard really thinks he can just, you know, send me through the walls and get away with it. Oh God, he's doing it again. Okay, maybe, maybe, you know, we let him get away with it. Just, just for now. Is there a way to... Okay, see, that's not, that's not really working, is it? Got him. Hit him once. Hit him again. I, I don't really think he's taking any damage here. Oh God. Okay, so at least the, the good thing is it doesn't do that much damage. 
Unless he hit you twice and sent you higher. Dog, can you help me out with this? He's healing himself. Bro, this is not a fight that I should be in. Okay, I think I think we're done fighting this guy. Uh he set me on fire. Oh my god, we didn't die from it. No, I've learned a lesson today to not mess with the wizards, but I think I'm gonna go mess with whatever that thing is in the water. Now I think this is from Tropic Craft. Whatever this little dude is right here. Oh, Oh yeah, this, this this is definitely from Tropic Craft because I feel like I remember these guys when I played the mod a long time ago. Let's see how close we can get them to us before we fight them. Because fighting things in water is is obviously not. Hello, hello. I'm stuck. I keep on getting stuck on something. Fighting things in water obviously is not gonna be the way to go. And look at them run. Look at them run. Man, that was light work once we got them out of the water. Can I pick this up? We can pick it up. Look at that. Oblongatron. <laughs> What y'all think of the fit? We got a book bag. Book bag? It, it gave us a book. Hey, we do need a book. Daytime has finally arrived. You know, I've just been chilling inside of this wizard's house. I hope he didn't mind too much. Ooh, there's another uh, Ashen guy right here. And hey, he low-key running. Hey, come back here, bro. Come on. We got beef. You know, I beat up your pal. He was shooting arrows at me before I even attacked him. You know, we, we had to get the beef going on. No, no homo, I guess. We got another mask, though. The Headinator. Huh. It's an interesting name. <laughs> Yeah, we should find that other sheep because apparently you have to have all of the same wool color to, you know, make a bed. I didn't know this. Like I said, I usually play older versions of Minecraft, but uh, now I know and I still don't have three of one color. So uh, you have been completely used. You know, it probably would have been smart if I waited for him to eat something. And then, you know, don't worry about it. You know, you're not here to see a smart person play, right? I'm kidding. I'm a genius. Look at this. Boom. Now we got three of one color. I told y'all. Y'all were sleeping on my geniusness. And, uh, you know, I just had to show him that I, I can be a genius when I want to be. But, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the ocean. I think this is an ocean. I hope it is because we kind of need a squid so we can make some progress. I have no idea what button I just hit. You have enabled rotation lock. Hello? These sounds are terrifying. Not gonna lie, I spent like five minutes looking at controls there trying to figure out what I did to enable the orientation lock. I figured it out though. Like I said, the, one of the biggest problems with playing with a lot of mods is having to go through all the controls. I think I have a mod in here though that allows me to easily cycle through controls. So it's not too bad. I can't tell if that's a sound effect or if there is a snake somewhere on my ass. I don't know. When I was watching Uber Hacks Nova play this mod pack, uh, it had a lot of RPG aspects and I really love the idea of having games games like Terraria, Starbound, uh, Minecraft, you know, open world sandbox games and having a lot of RPG aspects, you know, added into it. I feel like it makes the game so much more fun. Who doesn't love a little bit of RPG aspects? You know what I'm saying? Magic bean? If planted, a magic bean creates a beanstalk that grows until it hits the top of the world. On top of it, you will find a bean pod which contains valuables. Uh oh, I'm drowning. Zestonian Enderman. I don't know what that means. I don't want to look at him. And this one is hungry. I mean, tell him by your physique. You know, that's that's not really a surprise. Don't, 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 don't kill me. I've been scaling the side of this ocean for a good minute now. A couple minutes. And uh, no, I'm not seeing too much. I'm really not seeing too much. Ooh, are we in a mushroom? We're in an Aether Highlands. I don't know what that means. What kind of biome that is. Still no signs of squids at all. And it's getting kind of annoying. Because I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to finish this quest, bro. Oh, shoot. I think I... I found something here. Got a little destroyed ruins. Oh, look at this. There's actually some enemies and some loot in here. I don't think they can even get up to me. So I am not too worried. One of them has a shield. I forget you can, you know, equip and wield shields in this version of Minecraft. So I gotta keep that in mind. But nice, there we go. We kill them. I don't know if there's a spawner somewhere. I guess we'll we'll find out the hard way in a second. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's loot this chest. Oh my god. The goodies. All right, once you organize it, there's not, there's not that much. But still, an iron helmet. We don't have a... Oh. We do kind of have a helmet, don't we? But nine helmet is better. Bones and gunpowder, very useful. Uh, magic tether. The hell is a magic tether? I'm real worried about this. I. Okay. I see a village coming up on the map. Wait, wasn't I supposed to be killing squids or something? You know, don't worry about it anymore. I gave the squids enough of a chance to spawn in and they just didn't want to do it. So, oh well. Stuff happens. We're in a village now. And I'm hoping we find some goodies. That. 
magic hood i honestly should set up shop somewhere for now you know maybe make my little house here i don't know this place kind of ugly if i'm if i'm being honest they got a totem pole thing over here we got a uh, oh look this give me a bunch of buffs jump boost water breathing slowness resistance what the hell is giving me slowness which one of these things would give me slowness ocelot cow rabbit blaze squid okay i see i can see a squid giving us slowness what are you looking at bro you want some of this meat but yeah let's go ahead we'll place our uh, starting house here and then just see what it looks like or not really see what it looks like can i pick that up i kind of want that give me that give me that pickaxe thank you very much that's an easy way to get a pickaxe there's a piston scepter what does that mean there's a biome crystal too fire charm oh it's a bobble so we can put this on like here boom perfect and then let's see this piston pusher now i'm assuming what this would do is push stuff right because it's a scepter unless it's used specifically for pistons i think it It just, it just pushes blocks. So I kind of want to build my house on a fairly empty spot of town. I think right here is not bad. There's a wizard tower over there. What is this? Is this a job board? Bounty board? What? That's cool as hell. See, this is what I was talking about with the RPG aspects. That sounds dope as hell. All right, let's do it. Boom, bada, bing. Same color wood as the wood here too, which is really good. There's also this big, giant castle right here. It's very scary looking biome. Uh, is this a woodland mansion? It looks like it could pass off as a woodland mansion, like a different variant variant or something and not the vanilla one look at this oh my god this is a woodland mansion you see that there's a vex up there is that what that's called see look i, I barely have played the newer minecraft versions but yeah uh we'll, we'll come back to this i have a feeling that it shouldn't take this long to find ink for one of the first quests but uh it, it's it's been taking really long to find ink for the first quest i feel like the only way we're gonna get our hands on a an ink sack or black dye of any sort is gonna be going down this little hole i found right here i'm gonna put that away because it started hurting me but let's go down oh my god why are we going so fast let's head down here oh spider spawner spider spawner okay broke that no problem uh, I've noticed a lack of just mobs in general on the surface like there's no mobs in terms of like just things that spawn I don't like this at all Like I was expecting like more like nature mobs because I know we have a mod in here That adds in like legit just like Creatures you'd find in actual nature for example like bears and stuff like we have a mod in here that does that Do they just not spawn in most of the biomes? I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> This is dangerous bro. This is dangerous. Be a man about it. All right place torches everywhere else There's a hungry zombie Which means he eats our items when he hits us So let's be very careful. I am noticing a decent amount of uh, a decent amount of lag Oh my god, and you know minecraft no matter what computer I have seems to always have some sort of problem as a minecraft is a very Resource intensive game. They're down there killing each other. There was a bag I really wanted to pick up and I wanted to secure the bag that was down there, but it's not looking like a possibility. Ooh, there's some goodies in this chest. We got some rings, duct tape. Yes, can't wait to use some duct tape. Climbing gloves. Climb any vertical surface, right click to toggle on. Interesting, so I'm assuming you need nothing in your hand to use that. It's very cool though. I like this, I like this a lot. Let's, it's a bobble, right? Yeah, it is, okay. So, it's on right now, and then I right click what the fuck no way this dude what's your name you're, you're an alchemist this alchemist not only had more books and stuff in here but look what he has in the picture frame bless up we can finally complete the first quest i know it's insane the first quest can finally be completed all right wait what was the other thing i needed uh crafting co okay it's not that hard to craft hey thank god for that because if that was hard to craft i would have i would have uh, given up all right boom crafting core complete and now all we need is just wood iron book and quill if you're wondering where i got all this wood from it was from those chests in the like farmers market area boom portable crafter finally we could complete our first quest that took a whole entire episode to do uh path of the archer you get a bow nice not bad path of the wizard probably the coolest one if we're being 100 percent honest probably the coolest one you get a bunch of wizard stuff but the thing is would that wizard stuff even be that useful I don't know, man. I'm thinking Path of the Archer would be extremely useful because it's ranged. We already got warrior stuff, so I'm not worried about that. All we get yeah, extra is a shield. So I think we're going to go Path of the Archer. There we go. I figured it out. I had to hit the, the X in the middle. Boom. We're going to claim 
Path of the Archer. I hope I actually picked up everything. Nope, it's kind of on the floor right there. Many people probably want me to do wizard, but like I said, I don't know if I'll be doing much wizardry stuff in general. And also, I kind of wanted a bow. A bow is really nice to have. And uh, if you want to see the wizard, check, check out Uber Hexanova because he did the wizard in his couple of videos. But yeah, we completed our first quest. Insanity, we can still do Path of the Farmer. And then there's a sleeping bag quest. Oh my god. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Uh, I really want to play more. This is a really fun mod pack. There is a couple of uh, frame rate problems. I don't know if you been noticing them throughout the series so far but there'll be a couple stutters here and there i think it's just a really big mod pack and i don't have everything optimized yet either so there's gonna be a couple stutters here and there hopefully i figure them out i don't know there's not too much to figure out i saw the optifine maybe i just gotta tweak some optifine things but yeah i will see y'all in the next video